WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 4 p.m. Eastern Time, as we reach the end of the trading day. And you got markets pushing all time highs almost across the board right now. S&P's up by 36 points, helped out by that late acceleration at 3 o'clock on the news that we got the Treasury borrowing a little bit less money than they had anticipated. What do we have? We have yields dropping. The market loves a weaker yield. We have markets accelerating. S&P's all-time highs. You're up by 38 points right now at 49.55 in the S&P's. That's about 8 tenths percent in the positive. NASDAQ 100, you got a full percentage point today. Up 180 points. Huge week for tech earnings this week, as we've talked about. NASDAQ 100, up more than a full percent. Dow catches a bid, especially late in the day. You had the Dow accelerate almost 200 points from 3 o'clock, right? Look where we were. Right at 3 o'clock, we were at 38,300. We just came a couple points shy of 38,500. All-time highs in the S&P. All-time highs in the Dow. Russell catches a bid to the tune of 1.7% right now, up 33 points, 2021. Bitcoin, bouncing off last week's lows, 43,450, up 1,000 bucks. Crude, down a dollar at 77 bucks on the dot right now. Gold is jumping around because you got some big action in yields. You got some big action in the dollar index, right? We jump over to yields. So what happened? Treasury's borrowing less money. Well, if they have less supply, they might be able to charge a little bit of a higher price. What's that mean? The price goes up, yield goes down. We got the 10-year up by 19 ticks right now, 111.19. You jump over to the dollar index. Dollar index trades lower to 103.49. You got a weaker dollar, that gives gold a little bit of a pop from three o'clock up to 2050. We were all the way at 2056 earlier today for that gold contract right now. You jump over to the VIX as this market just plows higher, V-I-X. VIX still at 1362 with a little bit of an elevated level when we come into a pretty big week of potential volatility. So what do we have going on? Tuesday, you got earnings, you got AMD, you have Google. You have Microsoft out on Tuesday. We got Fed Day on Wednesday, of course, 2 p.m. Eastern time, the announcement. We just went over uh, the expectations in terms of where the rate cuts are coming down the line. And then on Thursday, Apple, Amazon, among many others. Meta in there on Thursday as well. Meta, all-time highs, just across the board, man. Check out Meta. We'll close it out with Meta. 40102, S&P's up by 37. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. Tomorrow morning. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock with the morning market kickoff. Thanks so much for staying tuned to TFN all day. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow, folks.